What is up everybody? It has been three months since we've gone freshwater fishing. So today I'm gonna to show you how I target yellow uh, perch. A um, few different techniques that we're gonna be utilizing, a few different types of rigs and baits. So stay tuned for that. Right now I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be using. All right, so we are gonna be using a variety of artificials and live bait for today's video. Uh, we'll start off plain and simple. So the first technique I'm gonna be trying, I'm gonna use one of these moon eye jigs. Um, doesn't really matter what type of jig, you could use a plain one, you'd use, you know, ice fishing jig. I mean, there's so much variety with jig heads. Reason why I'm going with one of these um, moon eye jigs is just because they have that little hook on the back that will keep, you know, your soft plastic from getting ripped off. Now, they do work really well at keeping the, you know, your soft plastic or lure on but one of my uh, big, you know, issues with this is if you get something that's pulling on the bottom of it, it will rip it uh, just because of the nature of that little hook. But um, that's what we're going to start off with. We're going to use just a regular trout magnet float. I think that's perfect for where we're fishing. Uh, if we need a heavier one, I'll, I'll move up. But I do believe that's all we're going to need for today. First thing we're going to start is with live bait now. I have three types of worms, wax worms, Canadian crawlers, and red wigglers. Now, uh, I'm going to start out with the wax worms because they are a universal bait. Uh, I do know that I've had luck with yellow perch using them. Um, once we do establish that they are there, we're going to move on to some artificial baits. And what I was thinking of using first is these uh, Euro Tackle Y fries. They're about 1.2 inches long. Um, they got a little split tail. I'm going to start with white just because it kind of uh, is a universal color that seems to mimic most of the bait fish uh, that they're feeding on. Uh, if we have time, we'll go to pink. I also, if, if there is time, I'd like to try one of these Gamma Scuds uh, made by Euro Tackle. Um, I've had success with uh, catfish and white perch and a variety of other freshwater species. Uh, we also will throw a Berkeley Gulp, a live emerald minnow if uh, time permits, and see if anything uh, is biting. Now, the three techniques that I'm gonna be using. So first one's just gonna be dead sticking wax worm on a hook, I'm sorry, on a jig, and just kinda letting it float. Uh, after we use those, we're gonna go to a suspended jig technique with the artificials. And if we do have time, I do wanna try uh, throwing one of these drop shot weights probably one of the smaller ones on the bottom and uh working you know just a bottom rig with you know just a regular gamagatsu uh hook so stay tuned hopefully we uh get on the yellow perch today we're walking in the woods today <sighs> gonna look for a little spot to fish from the bank where there's you know not too many trees i got this cool little creek that's just flowing through the woods um looks like an awesome spot Looks like a great place to get, you know, ticks, but um, I love that it's, you know, not really many people out here. In fact, I haven't seen anybody yet today, knock on wood, but we're gonna keep walking, see if we can find a spot that we can uh, fish in this area. All right, taking our first cast of the day. See if anything's sitting out there. Fish on, fish on baby. Whoa. First fish of the day feels a little big. Oh, son, look at that. Damn, son, look at that. That's a big old yellow perch. Whoa. I don't want to lose this guy. I'm gonna... Damn, son, look at that. Woo. Man, that is one way to start the day. First fish is an absolute slamming yellow perch, man. I didn't bring a ruler, but that's a big yellow perch. All right, I'm gonna let this guy go, man. What a beautiful fish. Look, and off he goes, swimming away. That was a nice white, or I'm sorry, yellow perch, man. What a way to start the day. All right, one speed. All right, so far so good, man. One cast, one fish. I mean, if I were a very smart man, I'd probably give up fishing now and go home one for one, but I'm not very smart, so we're going to keep 
testing the waters, uh, see what else is here. I had a feeling that there was going to be some form of yellow perch uh, in this creek, or at least some form of perch, I mean to say, not white or yellow, but uh, that's always a good sign, man, when first fish you gets a jumbo yellow perch. Um, I'm going to cast this back out once I get the wax worm on there, but uh, see if anything else is lurking out there. Now, the nice thing about where I'm fishing is I'm letting the current do most of the work. Now, I could just, in theory, I could just, oh, fish on. Another fish. Let's go. I was going to say, in theory, I could just let it drift um, instead of jigging it back because the, the current's kind of giving it enough motion. All right, all right, all right, man. Not as big as the first one, but that's still a nice size, you know, yellow. Now, while I was trying to untangle my line uh, from my, the tip of my rod, I ended up losing that fish. So unfortunately, we didn't get to really look at him, but it's definitely uh, another yellow perch, just not as big as the first one. But what I was saying was, it's slowly moving. Oh man, I just missed a hit. But when you got that little bit of motion, fish on I really don't have to work it because the currents moving my bait you know naturally down the you know stream there we go another yellow boy man they're getting smaller though oh that's not a good sign went from large medium to small all right get her back out there but we didn't lose our bait but what I might try in a minute, because they are hitting wax worms, I want to see if they'll hit any artificials, because, I mean, it's every cast I have a fish right there. You know, I mean, I don't want to change something if it's working, but I'm curious to see how hungry these fish are. All right, this guy's a little bit bigger than the last one. Beautiful yellow perch, man. They are a beautiful species, man. I love the bands that run down. All right, off he goes. All right, so here's the angler in me. Just had few uh, yellow perch back to back to back on um, wax worms. Now I'm gonna try something different. Uh, in the winter time, I was using these Euro Tackle Y fries, um, the 1.2 inch. I like the pink ones, but I'm gonna try and mimic the color of the wax worms, which is like a tannish white. Um, gonna throw it on this jig. Now they were just hitting wax worms. I'm curious to see if they'll hit an artificial or if or if I should have just stayed with what I was what was working but curiosity's got me wondering so now this one I am gonna work a little bit just because uh, it doesn't really have any scent to it actually I'm sorry it does have scent it has like pheromone built into it but I don't know if that's enough to trigger a bite oh just had a hit but whiffed Something small pecking at it. Got him. Fish on. Oh. Oh. And I caught the tree. Another yellow perch on the Y fry, man. That's the beauty of these soft plastics, man. All right. He's gone. Probably made maybe 10 casts so far. Uh, every single one's had a yellow perch. So great start to the day. Um, we were getting them initially on the wax worms. Switched over to a Euro Tackle Y Fry, and haven't skipped a beat. Been getting hits, you know, left and right. In fact, we're getting one right now. Nothing big though. It's kind of like tap, tap, tapping. Uh, technique we're using right now is a little bit of a. Oh, oh man, just missed him. It's a. Uh... Got him. Suspended jig, that's the technique we're using. We're catching yellow perch. Slide this guy closer to the camera. But, uh, this to me is fun, man. Catching fish. Now, I'm not gonna brag, you know, what I mean, they're not world record yellow perch but they're they're perch man any of you knows 
one of the worst feelings in the world when you go fishing and you don't catch anything. Getting skunked might be honestly, there's days when you get skunked and you say, I, I should have just stayed at home. But today's not one of them days, man. We got the creek to ourselves, man, which is beautiful. You know, nothing but the birds chirping and the cicadas chirping. But maybe there's another bigger one lurking down there just waiting. Oh, there's a hit. But he dropped it. Got him. Got him, baby. Ooh. Just as I say that, now I feel this one feels big. Bigger, actually. Oh, he's trying to run me into that branch. Kind of, if this is a yellow, it's gonna be a little big, bigger. Damn, son, damn, son, look at that. Ooh, look at that yellow perch. My Lord, look at that guy. That's what I'm talking about. That's the one I was going for. And he just absolutely smoked that Euro tackle grub. It's amazing, uh, these fish. That is just one beautiful yellow perch. We're gonna get him back in the water again and get a quick video. All right, so just pitched it straight out. Um, hoping to get a little bit of a bite from a different perspective over here. Uh, one of the downfalls of this time of year is with, with the tree and cover. It's great because I have shade, but it's also a lot harder to fish unless you could find an open space like this. Uh, next to the shoreline. I did look in the woods um, and it was very difficult to find a spot that, you know, had enough room for me to make a cast, even an underhand flip, but, uh, so we're just working with what we got right now. Fish, oh man, just had a fish, but dropped him. Hopefully he comes back. There he is, there he is, whoa, son, that's a bigger fish. You see that? Oh, son. Let's go. Another yellow. That thing crushed that. I mean, absolutely crushed it. Whoa. There must be some really small perch or sunfish. My bobber's going down just slightly, just like something's kind of pecking at it, but not taking it. Fish on, got him. Oh, oh man, I keep catching this tree. Got him, got him on the jig, baby. Almost ripped my uh, Wi Fi off there. Probably one more cast with this, and then I'm gonna try something a little bit different. Um, we've seen that the you know Euro tackle grub works pretty well. You see that, you know, live worms or wax worms work. I'm curious to see if an uh, inline spinner would catch anything here. But man, it's kind of hard to change up what I'm doing. I'm getting hits left and right right now. Oh, and I just pulled it out of its mouth. He came back. He came back, baby. Oh, man. There has to be a school yellow perch down there, man. Big old school yellows. All right. All right, so we've tested out the Euro tackle. Now we're gonna just try a plain uh, Berkeley Gulp Alive minnow. See if that does anything different. Um, all right, just pitched it out there. Oh, pit, well, that quick, that quick we already got fish. Let's go on the Berkeley Gulp. Let's go. Look at that. Man. All right, so definitely Euro tackle works. So does the Berkeley Gulp Emerald Minnow. All right, so we're just gonna get this guy back in the water. That way he could grow big. All right, so 
Berkeley Gulp definitely works, or the Berkeley Alive Minnow, whatever the fresh, freshwater version, I guess you'd say. Uh, all I did was pitch it, you know, straight out, and just kind of let it, let the bobber get set because I have about three feet of line underneath of it, and all I'm doing is just kind of slowly jigging it, and already something's coming at it right now. Fish on! Look at that! Damn, son, that one just crushed it on the jig. Let's go! Let's go! Another yellow. Getting a little bigger. Man, they're like cookie cutter size. Don't let him go. Off he goes. All right, so here's what we got now. I got a little drop shot weight, a little uh, trout gamagatsu hook, putting a wax worm on it. We're gonna see uh, if we can get him off the bottom. I mean, the last few fish I've been getting suspended off the bottom. Now we're gonna fish directly on the bottom, see if anything's lurking down there. See if uh, we can catch him from this technique as well. Oh, there's a hit. Might have already missed it, honestly. Oh, got him, got him, baby. He came back, he came back. Let's go. Got him on the bottom. All right, so that's three methods that so far have worked. Uh, suspended jigging with soft plastics. Suspended, uh, I'm sorry. Just a regular float and hook, and now we're on the bottom. I'm hoping we'd see some bigger fish maybe lurking at the bottom. Fish on, look at that. Got him on the bottom. Not surprising just because Let's go. Not surprising because I know that the wax worms work. They love live bait, man. Beautiful yellow. All right, so this one's been sitting on the bottom. Oh, hey, fish on, there we go. Look at that. Another one on the bottom rig. This guy's tiny. I'm gonna let him go. This the line just went slack, so I'm not sure if something's messing with it. Oh, fish on, baby. There was a fish on it. Let's go. Another yellow. That one hit a uh, red wiggler, so that's pretty cool. Nice. All right, so this is what we're using right now. Gamma Scud. Um, caught catfish on them. Just checking that rod. Ca caught catfish on them. Caught white perch on them. Um, stripers so trying to add yellow perch to the list of species that hit them now once i get them hooked up i'll show you why i like these things so much so why i love these so much is they have all these little you know tentacles i guess you'll say or i don't even know what you would what, what would it call but it looks kind of like the legs on a grass shrimp so we're going to test it out see if anything's in, interested in it all right so we just switched it over to a gamma scud um really excited to try this out here only because i've never caught a yellow perch on one yet um i've caught catfish i've caught white perch stripers so this would add to the list of species that I've caught on it. So I'm hoping that by just giving it a little bit of action, a little bit of get the legs moving, get them interested in it. Oh, something's pulling at it, but it must be really small because it barely moved the float. Something's messing with it, but does not want to commit, man.
There we go. Fish on, baby. Let's go. Let's freaking go, man. Let's go. Look at that. Oh, man. Whoa, man. This guy is spunky on the Gamma Scud, baby. Beautiful yellow. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, if you're not a subscriber of the channel, click subscribe down below. Uh, if you're not a follower of my Instagram page, throw me a follow. If you go to Instagram, uh, you can find me under 609.fishing. Um, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys next week.